this morning, we are tracking the latest in a deadly mass school shooting in Uvalde, Texas. A gunman opened fire at Robb Elementary School, killing 19 children and two adults. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom joins us live with the latest on this investigation. A heartbreaking story, Cara. It really is. And authorities in Texas now starting to share more information about the gunman's movements and the police response. They say everyone killed appears to have been in the same classroom where that gunman ultimately barricaded himself. The Texas Department of Public Safety also says responding officers quickly began breaking out windows around that school, trying to get out as many children and teachers as they could. Some of them were hurt. They heard the gunfire. Uh, they were met with gunfire as they encountered this gunman who was able to shoot two police officers. Um, Non-life-threatening injuries, they, they are stable, they are out of the hospital, but at that point they were at a disadvantage because the gunman was able to make entry into a classroom, barricade himself inside that classroom, and then that's when just he just started shooting children and the teachers that we talked about, two teachers that were killed inside that classroom. This morning, investigators are looking for answers at Robb Elementary as some families continue waiting for information about their loved ones. Yesterday evening, authorities began taking the bodies of the victims away, and some parents were asked to do the unimaginable, to give DNA samples and it's, as investigators try to identify those many victims. Law enforcement sources tell CBS News they think the 18-year-old shooter drove up to the school with a handgun, an AR-15 assault weapon, and high-capacity <coughs> magazines and started shooting inside. Eventually, he was shot and killed by a responding officer. They think he acted alone, and they shot his grandmother before going to the school. Right now, we are looking at some of the pictures of victims. We are beginning to learn about the lives lost, uh, including two 10-year-olds, and this is a teacher at the school, we are told, Eva Marie. Morales. We spoke with her family about the loss. They say they are now donating blood for other shooting victims. Her niece had been an educator for at least 17 years. Uh, the aunt told us about her. So such a sad situation there today. We are continuing to learn more. We do know again uh, that we are expected to learn more later today about uh, this investigation uh, and all of the victims as they are continuing working to identify them.